In this video, I want to share three massive reasons why you don't want to be deficient in the mineral magnesium. Now, before I get started, down below in the description, uh, there's a link, and if you click on it, I'm giving away a free uh, video guide all about sharing tips on shopping for dietary supplements. Now, the truth is, this mineral is actually the fourth most common mineral floating around your, your body. It's the most, fourth most abundant mineral, so we need it. It's very popular. And the truth is, that there's a lot of really smart people out there in the, in the health industry that feel it's the most important mineral. So at this point, you're probably wondering, uh, you know, what the heck does it do? What? Well, this is kind of a difficult question to answer because it's involved with over 350 biochemical reactions in the body. So that's a ton. And I'm going to give you some examples of this. Uh, one example would be like the heart. You know, kind of an important organ. We, we need it, right? Well, what it does is it regulates uh, the heartbeat. And Israel researchers uh, gave magnesium to, to half of uh, 194 uh, p patients that were suffering from acute heart attacks. And the in-hospital death rate uh, of those receiving magnesium was one-fourth that of those who received, uh, received just standard treatment alone. So if you think about that, that's, that's pretty pretty big. It plays a big, big role with the heart and how that healthy that is. Um, but just like those uh, late-night infomercials, wait, there's more. Uh, a huge problem that's facing developed nations is diabetes. And, and there's tons of people out there that are pre-diabetic that don't know, right? So that's a big problem. And in a study published in the 2013 issue of Nutrients, uh, a lot of the, uh, the researchers found that a lot of the pre-diabetics that they were researching were deficient in this mineral. And those with the highest magnesium levels in, in their body, well, their risk for, for blood sugar problems, which is the big threat facing diabetes, when you have too much sugar floating around your blood, it creates a bunch of problems. Uh, well. The risk for blood sugar problems was reduced by 71% um, just if they had adequate levels of this mineral. Think about that. That's, that's pretty huge, 71%. Um, and another big problem which I want to touch base on is as people, you know, we're, we, we live in some nice times. You know, we got a lot of luxuries, but a big problem that we're facing is pollutions, uh, toxins, contaminations. So. As humans, we need to detoxify and eliminate these harmful things, right? And magnesium does play a role in how our body detoxifies itself. So that's it's pretty important. And another one, too, you probably heard of antioxidants, right? You know, we you want antioxidants because uh, it stops free radicals, which damage your health, create disease, and bad stuff. And according to Dr. Oz, he thinks that um, glutathione, which is antioxidant called glutathione. It's the most important antioxidant out there. It's like a superhero, so you want it. But it's created in the human body. And interesting enough, this mineral, magnesium, it's needed to create this antioxidant, glutathione. So if you don't have enough magnesium, forget about this antioxidant. So that's huge. And again, I just touched, you know, tip of the iceberg on what this one little mineral does for the body. So the, whole, the thing is now, but you might be quite wondering, is how in the heck does someone know if they're deficient? You know, what are the signs or whatever? And this is tricky because only about 1% of this mineral is actually in your blood. So it means, you know, testing if you're deficient is it, very challenging. So here's the, the solution. What do you think the solution is? Yeah, get, make sure you get enough magnesium, right? And you might be thinking, well, you can probably get it through food. Well, that's another challenging thing because the average diet contains barely over 50% of the United, well, of the recommended amount of magnesium. That's according to the Institute of Medicine. And some very smart people out there think that a lot of Americans are deficient in this mineral, around 70, 80%, which, I mean, it could be true. So the solution is, which is pretty much a no-brainer to me, is just take a quality multivitamin that has it every day, bam, you're done. There you go. Easy. Just take it. Um, but the challenging part is how do you find a quality multivitamin, right? I mean, the whole industry is unregulated. And what that means in a nutshell is that, uh, you know, 
governments in many countries, Australia, you know, England, America, many countries I looked at, uh, they feel it's up to the company to ensure their products are safe, what, what's listed on the label comes in the product, and they don't really mess with it. Companies police themselves. And yeah, there's some crap out there. There's studies and reports show there's some garbage supplements out there. Uh, like Dr. Oz, I think it was a couple years ago, he had consumer labs on. They tested the top supplement brands and 40% of them were like mislabeled and have toxins and stuff. So anyways, back to what I was saying, to, to help simplify on shopping for a multivitamin, I created a whole video guide on what to look for in a supplement and how do you compare these products, uh, which can be very, very helpful to a lot of people out there. And not just with multivitamins, it talks about stuff like omega-3, you know, shopping for that, I mean, what do you look for? It talks about herbs. It also even goes over alternative medicine and some other ideas. So I think you're really going to like it. Um, I think it's going to help you a lot. It's completely free, so why not? And you can learn more about this whole free video guide by just clicking on the link up below the video I made for you. And uh, I want to thank you for uh, you know being open-minded to check out this video. And uh, if, if you liked it, if you learned something, uh, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, share some love. It makes you feel good too. Uh, for, and you'll help you, you're helping me out. And yeah, have a, a wonderful rest of your day and uh, bye for now.